Good morning guys, Happy New Year, it's now the 1st of January and today's a bit random because I'm actually going to New Zealand. A couple months ago my parents decided they wanted to go to New Zealand together but then they realised we can't really leave there alone in the house for two weeks. So they asked if I want to go with them and I'm going. We're leaving the airport in like five minutes so I'm just getting last minute things but I know I'm going to forget so much. <laughs> Let's go. It's important to give us your full attention. Let's just saved our flight meal. I love airplane food. So I thought I'd give it an unboxing on camera. This is the beef casserole. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately my camera died on the plane, but we made it to Christchurch and we stayed over the night. We got here pretty late, so we just went straight to the hotel and it's the next morning. Finally got my camera charged, but we've just kind of been looking around and this city is dead. I know the earthquakes were crazy, but it was six years ago and there's still so much damage. You know, it just feels like a city kind of like Chernobyl and the only people here are tourists and we're just coming in to check out the damage and what's left of this place because it seems like there's absolutely no one here. I know, it's just kind of blank and hostile but we we're only here for a short time because today we were driving down to Queenstown it's about a six hour drive and then we're staying there for five days so we'll probably stop at a few places on the way I can't believe how much of it is still destroyed six years after the earthquake this city is like a literal ghost town I feel like I just gave a really bad review but no it is quite nice and interesting to see the earthquake impact that is so strange. Why would they have the same logo and basically the same store, just a different well, name? Woolworths. It's my first New Zealand supermarket experience. In Australia, this place is called Woolworths, but for some reason it's got a different name here. What? I love looking at foreign supermarkets and seeing like the equivalent, but with a different name or a different price. Oh, look at this New Zealand candy. Update, so far it's all the same, but Good prices. Loose can slash bottles, one dollar each. I'll take them all. They have a pharmacy in the supermarket. One dollar. Their cereals are shocking. There's nothing good here. What? What have we picks? We're in this bite. Do you want to buy one? I thought that was supposed to be Australian. Two for just two dollars chocolate bars. Insane. Well, Countdown was the highlight of my New Zealand trip so far. What a good place. This is our rental car for the trip. I'm just waiting for my parents now, We're probably getting in trouble at the self serve checkout. I was falling asleep for the first couple of hours of the road trip, and I don't know why because I had 10 hours last night. That's more sleep than I've had since I was seven. But look, they have so many cool food places here. They've got Burger King, and before we drove past a Denny's. What? I saw this place, Carl's Jr. It was advertised a $10 full American meal. It looks so good. I love American fast food, even though I've never been. Okay, where are they? The self-serve checkout is not that hard. Who wants to try a New Zealand lolly? Made in Australia. <laughs> oh, it doesn't say anything about Countdown on it, so they must be the same. What are they like? We started our pit stop, we stopped to try to find a bakery for some lunch. And this is what we came across. Who plans bakeries? I don't know how a pie is only 99 cents, but I want to find out. Oh, they're frozen. What? Their bread loaves are only one dollar. That is insane! I convinced my parents to let us get a loaf of bread for one dollar. That's absolutely crazy. Thanks, Coopland's bakeries. So blue. We've just stopped at like Tecapo or Tecapo. And gee whiz, check out that blue water. That's incredible. Whoa. Stand up here, you can get a really good view. Probably won't even show up in the video, but that is. Whoa. It looks like a different liquid, not even water. I mean, it looks poisonous, doesn't it? You're like, yep. if you drank it, you look like... Should we swim in that? There's something very special about being in a bowl. I've decided it's just too hot and the water's too incredible to miss the opportunity. So I'm going to jump into my boardies and go for a dip. It's still refreshing. It's like you're glad you did it. Oh! But the wind is actually... Wow, the water was absolutely freezing, but incredible. The reason it's so blue is something to do with melted glacier water. 
that just means it's so icy and freshening. Oh, but freezing! And that water there, that's blue. We finally made it to our accommodation after six hours on the road and I'm here in my room just unpacking my stuff now. Look, I've got a big bed. Uh, as you know, I just have the two flimsy bunk beds at home and also my own bathroom in here. Yes. We're staying here for the next five nights so I'm very excited to utilize that. This is the living space lounge room area. There's our TV. Ooh, guest book. <gasps> Intriguing. Oh, and also I've got my own TV in here. Woohoo! And finally, back with internet. Second New Zealand supermarket of the day. Oh, this one's got a cafe out the front. This is packed. We can do an official review of all the New Zealand supermarkets. Chips at $1.49. Oh, this is so cool. How busy is this? $9.50. $10.99. What is that? One toothpaste. Yeah, but it's the second. It's the whitening one. Oh, I need that. <gasps> what are you hiding at? <laughs> you Look at the price of the milk. $4.50 for one milk. $2.75 for one milk. Cheapest creepers. $6.50 on special for butter. <gasps> How's this two dollars fifty? Is that normal? So you save money on chips, then lose it all on butter, sunscreen, and milk. What? That's incredible. I prefer countdown so far. It's so hard to put on it, do an accent, like for more than one word. Oh, uh, it's not really. Once you get your mouth into the right place, see, I was saying, see, you heard someone say, Peter Pops. Yeah, the pedal pop. pop. What a quality first date in New Zealand. I've been home for a while and now I'm just gonna take a shower and then head to bed. And unfortunately, you can't see that, so. I'll say goodbye now, but thanks so much for watching my first New Zealand vlog. If you like and subscribe for more, leave a comment letting me know what you thought and how I can improve these vlogs. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new exciting video. Bye guys, love you lots.